Hi everyone, a couple of days ago I managed to go out to sea and I caught myself a very popular fish and it is a green eye grouper or what we call orange spotted grouper I'm not too sure about the actual name but anyway it is a grouper and I'm going to prepare the dish today so let's start the preparation the first thing that we're going to do is to deskill the fish and as the grouper has a very small scale so while scaling I'm going to let the tap run uh, and hope, hopefully that the scale doesn't fly over the place so let's start the descaling now Alright, now the fish has been descaled the next thing is to clean up the whole fish so I'm going to start After the fish is um, cleaned up nicely and um, the basic ingredients for today's dish which I'm going to steam the fish is uh, ginger and spring onion. So first step what I'll do is I will put this spring onion line up this way. Alright and then I put the fish on top of the spring onion the whole idea is to allow the steam goes through and circulate the body so that the fish is, is um, properly steamed and to get away or rather to remove the any fishiness I'll just put the ginger on top as this fish is only about 800 gram, I think we will steam about 8 to 10 minutes. To prepare the sauce for the steamed fish, basically you will need sugar, uh, shoyu or what we call a light soy sauce, uh, some white pepper, it has to be white, and then um, chicken stock so, so I'm going to pour the soy sauce in first and then with an equal portion of um, the chicken stock one is to one okay I don't really like it the sauce to be too sweet so I just put one teaspoon so adjust to your, your taste okay. so the sauce is kind of like heated up already I'm going to just have a final taste okay I'm pretty happy with this put the sauce aside to steam the fish I'm using um, a very traditional Chinese wok and uh, a steamer tray uh, importantly is that before you put the fish to steam Make sure the water is uh, gets boiling and you can see the steam coming up. Then you put the fish into it. Right. So we cover it and then we wait for 10 minutes. While waiting for the fish to be fully steamed um, the final step is that we will prepare some garnishing with, which will add on some flavor to the fish and smell uh, what you need is some 
uh, parsley and some spring onion, spring onion as well. So I'm going to cut them up. simple trick to test if the fish is cooked or not is I will use uh, like a bamboo skewer or you can use a chopstick if you want if it goes through easily at the thickest part of the fish which is it is now means the fish is perfectly cooked so what I'm gonna do is I will sort of like throw away those ginger and um, carefully pour away all this liquid that is coming out of the fish because this is the part where it's giving the fishiness we, we don't want to have them interfere with the taste of the fish and, and I will take away all the spring onion as well last important part is to heat up some oil probably about uh, two to three teaspoon that will be enough okay here comes the magic Ooh. sizzling hot mmm very nice smell and don't forget about don't forget to put a bit of pepper will do and then the finishing touch the sauce So there we have it, steam Gurupa Hong Kong style. So I'm going to check, okay, oh nice, the fish is well, well cooked, right, and I'll put a little bit of um, the parsley a bit of the sauce mm. oh the, f the fish is so fresh the sauce that I prepared is I would say very good so very happy with the the overall results of this uh, particular dish and one thing for sure this dish is best eaten with a uh, bowl of hot rice. All right, that was some fun cooking. I think that I have done reasonably well for the fact that the sauce is light and a little bit sweet. Something that uh, is, is uh, much to my liking. However, if you want it to be a little bit more flavorful, uh, do add more soy sauce and a little bit more sugar. How, um, as for the fish, I find that it is a little bit on the overcooked side. Perhaps maybe I should have reduced the 10 minutes to 8 minutes for that particular size of fish. So that is something that I need to improve on. So I hope that you like this episode and uh, I will look forward to see you again in the next video. Bye bye.